Muy buenos días, muy buenas tardes, espero que estéis todos muy pero que muy bien, bienvenidos un día más a mi canal, hoy os traigo un juego que es simplemente la hostia. Y lo digo nada más por el trailer, los vídeos que he visto y esta introducción, o sea, esta introducción al menú principal que es para flipar, o sea, de verdad, no se requiere dar más vueltas a la tuerca. Con poner un menú aquí en la parte izquierda inferior y estas imágenes satelitales, lo digo correctamente, pues no se requiere nada más. He puesto todos los settings al máximo y no voy a esperar más para darle a New Game. Thank you for accepting this commission and welcome to Kuomar. For the past 20 years it has been controlled by two people, President Omar Al-Baka and his wife Bibi Rashida. Their regime is both cruel and brutal, but we saw no reason to interfere. Till now. We have actionable intel Kuomar is planning an offensive against a neighboring state. A war here is unacceptable. It will disrupt the whole region, inflating global oil prices. The conflict was triggered by the assassination of President Al-Baka. His wife has taken power, but her grip is weak. Some within her government resent both her gender and Western education. However, she's supported by a close network of warlords. They provide troops and weaponry to Rashida, reinforcing her control and preventing open revolt. The regime is financed by the hacker and crypto anarchist Lars Hellstrom. Wanted by multiple agencies, he threatens governments, rigs elections and holds corporations to ransom. Together, they are the masterminds behind this offensive. We need you to shut them all down. Of course, you. A friendly in country. You got me. Tashta here, a journalist and the son of one of Russia's few political opponents. He disappeared after being arrested on espionage charges. Find him. Kumar's terrain is both arid and mountainous, so getting close to a target may not be possible. We know you're a long shot specialist, so this shouldn't be a problem. I'm a shooter. Especially the prototype visor. It has an enhanced battlefield display and a direct comms link to me. Rashida and her allies cannot be allowed to ignite the region. Her war must be stopped. I'll be in touch. Pues gracias por esta intro. Vale, esta es nuestra primera misión. Es una misión de rescate, al parecer. Vamos a estar con todo. No, vamos a empezar de a poco. Nunca he jugado este juego. It's time to get familiar with your weapons and gear. The tactical visor we supplied provides a live feed from your scope. It's equipped with an advanced combat display. You'll be able to scan terrain as well as tag and track hostiles. We've also given you some extra tools. We prefer it if you didn't break them. I'll run through their features on our live fire range. Once you're happy, we can move on to the mission itself. Perfecto. Eh, le di a esa... Bueno, pues está. Le di a Gráficamente bastante bien. Vale, pick up. Take a prone position to stabilize your base. We need consistent readings. Switch on your binocular display to enable hostile tags. Vale. Tag the target straight ahead. You're 12 o'clock. Tagging hostiles will give you their range and keep track of their movements. Vale. Vale. Vale, vale. The scope also allows you to measure range to targets. Go to glass and see for yourself. The 
upper left quadrant in your scope is a rangefinder. The target's height on that scale indicates their distance from you. It'll change according to your zoom ratio. Focus on your breathing. Splash this target. Aim for the head. Wounds to center mass are not always lethal. Addition. Hit. Go for the next one. Como que next one? Ah, vale, vale. Next target, your 12, 300 meters. I know you're used to doing the maths for range, wind speed, and direction in your head. Good. Raven, find your next target. Oh my god. Adjusting your scope to target's range will improve accuracy. I've marked the distance for you. Set your scope elevation to 400. By calibrating your scope properly, you won't have to manually adjust your aim up or down to compensate for the distance and bullet drop. Vale, tenemos que recargar. Wounds to center mass are not always lethal. A headshot is the best option. Good. Splash four more now. There's plenty of ammo. Restock or reload when you need it. I know you're a marksman, but use your binoculars to tag hostiles before taking the shot. It'll give you vale. distance to target to zero your scope. Vale. Volvemos aquí y nos colocamos aquí. Excellent. First target down. Vale. Let's see. Two more to go. Not bad. One more to go. Your scope is zero now. We can move on to the next stage of familiarization. Head to the door behind you. Move through the door to the next area. We have some additional kit to familiarize yourself with. First up, Falcon Drone. Pick it up. Select it from your inventory. Now launch it.
Vale. The drone can hack CCTV boxes. We're looking into possible upgrades later. There's a CCTV access point in the building below. Send the drone in and hack it. That interference is caused by a jamming tower. You're likely to encounter more of them during your missions. They're heavily armored, so don't try to destroy them. Just keep the drone out of their jamming range. Your mask's hood will indicate when you're close to one. Thankfully, their heavy armor does limit signal range. Use the drone to find an alternate route to the CCTV box. Hacking one access point gives you control of all the cameras connected to it. It also prevents them detecting your presence afterwards. Try switching between different cameras. No. Any hostiles you spot on camera will be tagged in your hood too. That's handy. You're up to speed on the drone now. There's another piece of kit on the table. Have a look. These auto turrets sync with your hood. You still need to mark hostiles for the turret manually, but it can then fire at your command. Once placed, you set it up via your mask's binocular mode. Activate that now. Focus on the hostiles you tag with the drone. Then you need to mark them for your turret. Remember, turret marking is separate from your binocular tagging. Exit binocular mode and command the turret to fire. Once marked, you can execute the fire command any time. You're done with gear familiarization. One thing I should mention, you can use a turret's inbuilt camera for overwatch or use it to execute simultaneous shots, if needs be. Also, the turrets are under constant development. We may be able to upgrade them later. That's all the new gear covered. We have a spot set up to test special ammo too. Or you can head straight out. There's a truck waiting in the back.
Vale. Ya hemos empezado el loadout. Vale, me da igual de momento, no, no quiero. Vale, customization. Ta, 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 ta. Vale, tienes que comprar. Los. Development. Regions. Ok. Star contract. Raven, I'm sure you know. The record for the longest sniper kill belongs to a Canadian Special Forces operator. During the Iraq War, he hit a target over two miles away. Today's mission won't need you to hit anything that far, but it's still going to be a challenge. This operation is designated Cold Bore Zero. We're dropping you onto a plateau located within range of all three targets. Your window of opportunity is small, so hit and move. The first target here is Antoine Zaza, Rashda's favorite warlord and quartermaster. The Zaza clan are arms dealers alongside other criminal enterprises. Eliminate him and the Kuamari government will struggle to equip their militias. Your second target is a disgraced SAS officer, Captain Ronald Payne. He's in charge of the Army's tactical training and currently stationed at one of their boot camps. Your third target is Colonel Fyodor Novikov, a Russian GRU agent sent here to control logistics and supply. Removing these actors from the board will seriously hamper Rashida's plans. Stay sharp. I'll be in contact when you arrive on site. Let's go. Control, do you read? This is Raven. Roger, Raven. What's your status? I've exited the helo, and I'm commencing recon of the plateau. Intel indicates light foot patrols and some forward observation posts only. Proceed with caution, and you should reach the sniper hides with little opposition. Understood. The plateau will provide you with three OPs which overlook each target location. They should give you a good line of sight on any hostile. Dials. Sounds like a piece of cake. Except for the range, and with no spotter. I'm confident you won't miss. It's one of the reasons we picked you. No pressure then. Let me know when you've reached the first OP. Roger that. Raven out. Vale. One second settings. Video. Vale. Field of view. Un segundito que voy a tardar a estocar aquí unos unas cositas. Un segundito. Bien, hop. Vale. Vale, estamos yendo. Es que me parecía algo de los FPS que iba a menos o algo así. Pero estamos yendo a 190 FPS por segundo. Barbaridad. Ah, vale, vale. Ostras. Pedrín. for the OP overlooking the port. Good. Just received some fresh intel on Zaza. Maybe conducting a deal today. 
Our sources tracked a known weapons supplier crossing the border earlier and heading on the main road to that location. If we're lucky, you'll catch them both. Do you have anything on the supplier's ETA? Negative. But one of the locals may have more info. Look for a hostile stationed near one of the comms relays. I'm sure they've heard the news. You probably won't be asking him nicely. How you do it is up to you. Vale, la verdad que está increíble el juego. A ver, vamos a lootear un poco. ¿Qué he encontrado? En principio nada más. ¿Tenemos que escalar o qué? Vamos a hackear. Control. I found intel on a laptop. The weapons deal is imminent. Then you better get set up at the OP. Vale, por aquí. Gráficamente se ve espectacular. Ahí no podemos usar los drones al lado de esas torres. Control, it's Raven. I'm in position above the port. Copy that. Plan your shots carefully. Sars is likely to run if you miss. So no alarms? Well, not before Sars is dead at least. It's not going to be easy, even with all this fancy new gear. Agreed, but the basics don't change. Get him stationary to improve your odds. I'll line him up somehow. Good luck. Send when ready. Madre del amor hermoso, por favor, que destrozo. Vale, la lié bien gorda ahí. ¿eh? Ahora tengo que salir por patas de aquí. Mira por los otros targets. Vale. 
Vale, la movilidad es casi lo peor de este juego. La movilidad gráficamente y todas las ideas y tal están increíbles. La movilidad debería ser más ágil un poco, pero lo entiendo que lo están intentando hacer realista. A ver, por aquí. Por aquí. Ostras. Vale, me he matado. Yo pensaba que si. Sí. Pensaba que si sí, daba un salto desde ahí y todo. Ah, no pasa nada. Ahora aquí es donde salvamos el bien. Cambiamos esto por los C4. Y bien, pull. Vale. Madre mía del amor hermano. Ah, toma por saco. Me ha reventado duramente. Vamos a recargar nuevamente y a ver qué nos espera aquí. Ya hemos cogido eso. Vamos a hacer el zip line. Hotel engaging hostile. 
Vale, no se juega con las armas así. Vale. Vale. Vale, por aquí no hay nada. Se puede decir que hemos despejado esto. Así me llevo un susto. Las embarcaciones supongo que no se pueden utilizar. Vale, nos hemos dado un chapuzón por lo menos, un pañito. Vayamos para allá entonces. Por aquí damos una vueltita. Bueno, por lo menos no son tan grandes los mapas, ¿eh? está bastante bien. Señoras y señores, yo creo que para tener un primer gameplay lo dejamos tal y como estamos ahora mismo. Por aquí. Nos vemos en un próximo vídeo. Hasta luego.